This is CNN Breaking News. Senior U.S. officials have been up all night monitoring the situation in the Situation Room. Sir, here's the latest intel. Convene the crisis action team. Yes, sir. Joan Cross has received information that we're going to be deploying forces. Uh, this will be accomplished by an AR-20, an AR-95. We'll need to go ahead and work on this CONOPS plan uh, three hours from now. Uh, at the same time, let's make sure we get the AMOGs alerted, get the contingency cell set up here. Any questions? Okay, thanks. We'll see you in three hours. What you got? Sir, the situation is deteriorating rapidly. We need to get 8130s over to the theater. They have to be in the air in 36 hours. 10141s, 6 C5s, and 4 C17s. You with me, Cam Raj? Yes, sir. Okay, Roger, that uh, just got a tasking down for 8 C130s. We're going to need 12 crews. Four C seventeen. Six C five. Over complement. Augment at AR. So we're gonna need uh, ninety thousand pounds of fuel offload. We'll need to be able to sustain that for initially for a twenty four hour period. Okay. Uh, we'll be looking to set up a uh, northeast tanker task force support. We'll ask for uh, the Air National Guard and Reserve to help us out up there. Calling from McGuire Cat, I want to check in. Hi, sir. Really important deployment. Here's a copy of your exception weather. As you can see, uh, none of your bases are expecting an exception weather criteria. Uh, everybody should be above 300 feet. Sir, the fighters are in the air. Can you check on the paper? The initial deployment of the Marines has gone very, very smoothly. In the last half an hour, we've seen the first two fixed-wing aircraft land here. came to appreciate a great deal of uh, um, profoundness, uh, the kind of uh, sacrifice uh, that our men and women make in the military, uh, the importance of their uh, mission. I've seen the Air Mobility Command folks operate in the field, coming in here and opening up this contingency base. It was a tremendous success during this surge period as we've gone through that.
air power and the ability to be anywhere in the world uh, quickly and deliver some substantial combat power. We've been in virtually every country in the world in the last year on some kind of operation, be it a mill to mill or humanitarian or air operation. So I think we're well positioned for this uh, world we live in. You are living up to the great traditions of the armed forces of the United States, protecting our nation's interests by keeping a fire out on behalf of all the American people. I come here, most of all, to thank you for the superb job you are doing on this historic mission. The sun never sets on Air Mobility Command and its global mission. And after we provide the planes and the gas and the communications and all the other resources, in the end, it's our men and women, our air crews, our maintenance people, our aerial porters, our doctors, our nurses, and all the other men and women, active guard, reserve, and civilian who provide global reach for America.